Hey, what's going on, everybody? So it's been a while since I've wanted to really talk about my ESXi server. Now, I've wanted to completely redo it from scratch, mostly just to kind of show everybody how I got it to the state where it's at right now. Now, I've done a lot of work on it. I've put a ton of hours into it, but I got a couple of new hard drives. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and make a video on how to pretty much bring up an ESXi uh, environment with you know, the CSR 1000 Vs, a couple of other uh, virtual machines, maybe a virtual wireless LAN controller, and kind of show you guys a step-by-step -step process. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys. I, I added two extra drives. Uh, these are 10K SAS drives, uh, 146 gigs each. So I'm gonna make a, go ahead and make a, uh, a logical array here. So right now I'm using this, um, um, KVM or KVT uh, software. Um, I pretty, ma pretty much have my desktop here connected to uh, a device called a black box and that's connected to my ESXi. So uh, let me go ahead and, and get in here. Um, so I added the drives on there. I deleted the old logical drive so I'm gonna have to start completely from scratch. I created a new logical drive which is this one here. It's gonna be RAID 5 so uh, one of the discs is going to be a, a parity disc, and the other three are going to um, um, be the actual uh, available disc space here. So as you can see, it's four drive base, and that's that's good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out, Let's view the logical drive. There it is. Um, so the way I did it is, is I deleted the old logical drive. Um, and then I created a new logical drive here. Now this is going to be very different depending on the um, on the model of your server. I'll have my model. Um, well, for one, I've made a couple of videos on it, so it's actually the HP HP ProLiant uh, DL360 uh, G6. Pretty much, you go through the BIOS, um, you press F8, and it takes you to this um, screen here. So that's about where you go or what you do so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of there and hopefully that should do it let me go ahead and pause the video until uh, this thing comes back up so another thing that you are gonna need is obviously VMware ESXi uh, you can get that from VMware's website so you can just google VMware ESXi 5.5 uh, free download and you go ahead and create an account with VMware and that should take you to the download link. I have it on a USB drive. Uh, currently, um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my server and uh, go from there. So here I'm gonna go to the boot menu here, which means F11. I believe I clicked it, yeah. So I have this sort of virtual key thing for all of the uh, F keys. Of course, you can always just plug in your keyboard, uh, mouse, and, and uh, monitor, make it easier on yourself. But in order for me to record, I had to borrow this from a friend. So hopefully, this will work out all right. So I have a USB plugged in, like I said, and on there I have uh, ESXi. Hopefully, that should work okay. Um, of course, you can always just make a CD ROM and go ahead and boot to CD and see how that works for you. Um, let me go in here, boot from USB drive key, and that's spazzing out this thing here. And All right, let's go and take a look at the utilities menu. And there it is, VMware ISO. There you go, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the installer. Okay, let's let it do its thing. All right, so it's still going through its loading process here. It's detected my model here. Again, this is my server, the number of processors I have, and uh, uh, RAM. All right, so that finished up. Um, this is pretty much it saying that 
you know, VMware only supports particular servers, so I'm just gonna go and continue. F11 to accept. So it's gonna scan all of your devices, all of the hardware inside of it. So, um, so here I have the hard drives. I'm gonna go ahead and install it onto the um, the local volume here. So I obviously don't want to put that on my USB drive. I want to put it on the actual hard drives. All right, so I had some data that was on there before. I'm just gonna go and overwrite it. It's gonna be uh, US. I'm gonna make the password something simple, depending on your environment and your policies. Um, go ahead and set up the root password. So pretty much what we're doing here is just setting up the management of the VMware ESXi. All of the actual, once we start putting the VMs on there, we're gonna be using the software here called um, VMware vSphere Client. You can also download that from uh, the VMware website, but we'll get to that in a bit. All right, so this is just to confirm the installation. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and leave this running until it's finished. All right, so it looks like it is finished. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot the server. And so once it actually reboots, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my USB drive. All right, so my server is back up, but I have a, um, so right now I currently have my server plugged into my home network and it's getting an address via DHCP. So what I want to do is change that and change it to a, um, a static address. So, so you can't see this but this is F2 I believe. So root and then the password that you gave it earlier. <clears throat> Let's see. Alright, so I want to go ahead and configure the management network. I wonder why it looks like that. Um, VMNIC1. Alright, so this here is going to be different. This is going to be set static IP. And, and this is going to be 250. 250. 192.168.1. 50 and that's all correct and click OK DNS so that's right and then I'll put an alternate DNS here I'll call this one ESXi dot let's call it ESXi for right now okay um, Custom DNS suffixes, for right now we'll leave that blank. Okay, so I have a couple of NICs here, VMNIC 0, 1. So right now I have 0, that's the management interface, that's correct. Alright, so let me go ahead and, let's see, let's exit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change that management network, so yes. All right, so now I have this IP address. Let me bring up a command prompt here on my desktop machine that I'm on right now. So currently I am on the same network here. Uh, I'm 1.50, so let's go ahead and ping to that management interface and I'm able to get to it. So that is pretty much all we had to do on a manageability side of it. So now let me try to bring 
this. So as I mentioned earlier, you gotta download this VMware vSphere client. You can go ahead and download that from VMware.com. I have my IP address of my ESXi server there. Go ahead and type in the root and password. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore the signature. Um, click yes. And that should open up our ESXi. So there we go. So this here is our basic configuration. And um, there's pretty much nothing that has been done here. So one of the things that I want to change pretty much immediately uh, is let's go down here to configuration under the time settings we can go and go to properties say enable MTP go ahead and start the NTP service. Okay, go to NTP settings here. I'm going to go ahead and specify time.windows.com. And I believe that's the name of that. So let's. That should do it. Start. Click OK. And this is this is the correct time. So this is 12:07, um, and that's the correct date. So I'm cool with that. 12:08, that's good. All right. The next thing, let's go here to DNS and routing. Let's be sure that's all right. Okay, that's correct. And let's see. So that's good. So let's go over to, all right, so let, let me go over what are some of the things that we have here. Um, again, this is all the information on the, the hosts here. So this is how many um, CPUs I have, how much available RAM that I have, CPU usage. Uh, the data store here is very important. So this is how much of how much of that hard drive space that I actually have free. Uh, if you want to look into that, you can go into browse data and you can take a look here as to what you have. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder here called ISO or ISOs, and that's where I'm going to store all of the ISOs or the um, any of the you know files that I'm going to need, like maybe like the Windows. Uh, Windows Server, uh, Windows uh, 8.1, and then everything else I'm going to be uploading via the OVA uh, method. And so as we do that, we're going to go ahead and create our um, our virtual uh, networks. So we'd go here to networking, uh, and then we would create more V switches and set that up accordingly. So hopefully this video has been a pretty good video on how to get ESXi up and running. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be going over uh, setting up basic CSR 1000 Vs and um, and going over specifically how we go about configuring the V switches and how that ties into your lab environment. So hopefully this was helpful for you all, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.